Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Filthy Robot playing with the Roomba in our Glorious Mandate of Heaven campaign. How are you enjoying it so far? I'm doing... I'm good. It's good. Uh, how about you? Are you are you dead yet? Uh, no. No, I haven't even <laughs> lost any land. I'm still doing A-OK. -okay. It's impressive. It's, it's, in fact, I would say it's glorious right now. I'm still not used to my country's... Uh, their their banner or their flag or whatever you'd call it. Like, I keep, keep getting confused when I look at my country. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I'm pausing now. Okay. Uh, you can so, put it at whatever speed you want. Since speed, uh, uh, you want to try speed three? Yeah. Let's I mean, I three. I need to decay a lot of aggressive expansion right now. So I got loans to pay off. I've got oh, like. Oh no, I'm alliance breaking. Don't do it. You actually had an alliance with who? Yeah. I got an alliance post war with Baratia above me. But that's breaking. If I lose this guy's an alliance, well, I mean, it will reset my truce timers, I guess. Which you're telling me is a necessity. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you always have to have an align, uh, a truce with somebody. I think I gotta turn my fort off. I can't really afford to pay for this. I actually have 33 army tradition, oh, which isn't horrible. You fucker. Beresha is in my land and he's gonna kill my rebels. Now. After Cancel military access. My capital. Cancel military access. Can you? Can I do oh, that? Sorry. Hold on. Oh, it's too late. Sorry. We just started the war now when you unpaused it. The battle? <laughs> yeah, well, it's alright. Sorry, you, well, anyways. Why does... Wait, who's in your lands? Aichi? My ally. It's alright. He might not win this. We'll see. Oh, cross your fingers. Okay, I'm gonna pause then. I think speed three might be a little bit. Eh, I don't know. No, he's we can do it if you want. This. Shit. Ah, maybe not. Hold on. Hold on. All right. If you need to, uh, if you really want to make sure, you should. You should be at peace. You have to be at peace in order to break, get broken by country. So you can't. Don't get war decked on. Uh, yeah. Grant land to the to the tribes. Get them where their loyalty is less than forty percent, and then revoke a province from them while they're disloyal will trigger a, a rebellion. And tribes usually just like raise autonomy when they enforce. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cancel military access in about one second. Can I do it while he's in my territory? He's moving out anyways. Okay, it's alright. The the rebels beat him despite nice. having inferior numbers and having uh, the mountains were in the favor of him. So I don't know how the fuck he lost these rebels, but he did. They're fearsome, obviously. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright, how's devastation in my country like now? I am 0% devastated, Filthy. However, I don't have positive stability, so I can't progress towards prosperity. Okay. I'm gonna boost stability. I want to be prosperous. I have a 30% chance each month to increase the prosperity in my state. That's good. exciting. It's good. Alright. I believe in you, Rebels. Break my country. I want my stab back. Yeah, how are you looking for how many provinces are occupied right now? Two. But my capital is one of them, so that's good, right? Do yeah. I get war exhaustion during this? Probably. No. You don't get war exhaustion from non-war related stuff. Right. Our war has declared independence from somebody. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of daimyo infighting happening right now. Can't see Japan. All I can see is fog of war over there. It's wow. weird how much vision you have and I don't. Yeah, what's your actual tech group called? I uh, You gotta go F1-3, the diplomacy tab, top middle right where it says like an inch or a half inch below the word diplomacy. There's a little flag or a little icon. I am technology group. You're in, sorry, you're nomadic is your tech group. My tech group is uh, Chinese. No. Oh, that's okay, my ally. Okay, nomadic, yes it is. Okay. So that explains why we have different vision. Okay. Fortune seeds a lot of land to Hai Chi. Yep. What is going on? I remember when we were considering who to play as, I said Hai Chi almost dies right away. Instead, it was you who almost died right away. Yeah. Oh, we rivaled you. Come on, Korea. Well, he can't get a claim on you, so who cares? I care, because I need, <laughs> I don't need things like that happening right now. That means Ming's hostile to me, basically, because I burnt all of his trust accidentally. Korea is over here, hostile to me. All three of my neighbors are hostile to me because they rival me. I guess uh, one of them doesn't rival me. And uh, my ally is considering abandoning me right now. Manually set your attitude to Ming towards uh, toward Ming as like threatened, or if you can. Or friendly. Tell them that you like that you like them. Okay. Whoa! Bengal just got trashed by Orissa. I didn't even realize they were at war. Is that why he didn't honor the coalition? That's unfortunate for him. He deserves it, bastard.
Yeah, I don't think I can offer vassalization to a person who is also a... <laughs> a protectorate. Ming is like this big, huge... He used to be, in previous patches, this paper tiger, right? Like, he was fearsome I'm, on the on the ledger. But then okay. you'd go to fight him and his armies were weak because he would have, like, 75% discipline and, like, like, really weak modifiers and stuff. Now he's got low autonomy, stupid huge income, and all these tributes every year from everyone. Like, he's just ridiculous. He's no longer a paper tiger, huh? Yeah, he's really strong. Energy and Oriet, huh? Ah, oh, man, Rima. I was really hoping to be able to war Haichi here, but I, the plan was to become a Ming uh, protectorate and then war Haichi while Haichi was weak. That plan has been ripped from me. Yeah, unfortunately, your options for raising trust are very, very slim if you're not a great power. Normally, you can use great power influence on a nation. Like, every five years, you can get five trust from that. Yeah. But beyond that, you, you could try to rival his rivals, but he doesn't have any possible rivals. You could try to... I don't even know. I mean, you somehow there's nothing you can really do. You shouldn't have shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done you, what? What did I no? do? What was the option that I did? Oh, ah! you mean? I figured it out. Sorry, you shouldn't have uh, said no when he kept offering it. That's but you know he didn't know better. So I'm yeah. just having giving me a hard time about it. I figured out why I keep on slowing the game down accidentally. It's what because I keep trying to press the B zero key to open up the diplomatic macro mac, macro builder thing, the diplo macro builder. Mm -hmm. And it's so far in the middle of the keyboard and nowhere that I accidentally keep pressing the negative key. So that's why I need to start using my alternative keyboard shortcut, which is the V key, which makes a lot more sense. I just keep forgetting that I've did it. I've done that. All right, four provinces occupied by these rebels. I believe rebels. Let's do it. I'm gonna go back up to speed three then. So you're just waiting. Yep. Uh, check on the F19. Make sure that they're not actually going to enforce demands. You don't want them to do that. They need to break you. Otherwise, the reset doesn't happen. Ah, uh, they're 57% of the way towards enforcing their demands. And how long until it completes? Does it say that to me somewhere? Hover uh, over the actual nine bar? Now. Oh, that's horrible. Um, <laughs> so they're going to enforce demands, which is different from breaking your country. If you want them to break your country, I think you do need to do the thing where you, you revoke land from the from the tribes to force more re rebellions to happen. Uh, I don't in nine know months, that that's going to be a thing. Um, well, hold on. Nine months, they might. There's no more forts to siege, right? It's just regular provinces? Yep. Yeah. I don't think they're going to end that amount of time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I see 12 provinces in your country. Is that right? Or 13? Uh, is there an easy way to check that? F14, hover over your development. It'll tell you the number of provinces you own. I have 13. Okay, so 7 need to be occupied then. Mm -hmm. And they're at 1, 2, 3, 4. At 4. Uh, if they moved every single month, they could get three in three months. If they move every other month, uh, it's still going to be only six months, and it's nine months till they do it. So it should break, yeah. right? Oh, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. But, but, but something, get, you know? something you got to consider is the more land they occupy, the faster they enforce demands. So as they continue oh, to increase the ratio, exciting. it might speed up. I, if it were me, I would just play it safe. Is there How loyal are your tribes? Pretty loyal. All right. You're at 50% uh, loyalty right now. I could, okay, is uh, there an interaction you can use that will make them disloyal right now? Uh, let's take a look. Like, demand them to give you manpower or something. Uh, no. I cannot uh, reduce their limit, their stuff right now. Alright, never mind. There's nothing to even think about. All I can do is revoke land, and I don't think it's enough. Well, you don't have very much land. I bet you could revoke one. Oh, no, I can, one. I can make them negative loyalty. I, if I, I have two problems. Okay, so if I take loyalty around, what am I doing when I do this? You want to take a land so that the first pro you have two provinces you can revoke, that's it? Mm-hmm. No, I have you three want... provinces. Well, can I revoke ones that are occupied or not? No. I can't I can't do it anyway, so I can only revoke one province, because that's the only unoccupied territory that I have for them. Okay, good luck! <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna unpause. Uh, good. I mean, we're trying to, like, squirrel your way out of a ridiculously bad start. That you opted for, by the way. Mm. I said you should play as Jianzu, and you're like, no, no, no. You're starting with uh, forty development or whatever, it would, it so it wouldn't make any difference if 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 
if I had gone as Janju and the same thing had happened, if my three nearest, if all three of my neighbors had rivaled me and then attacked me at the same time, it would have been the exact same look, exact same thing. Okay, but that can't happen for two reasons. Number one, Korea is not a horde, so they don't get the same CB that you have. They take time to fabricate claims. Mm. Second is that uh, Janju has 93 development or whatever. It's like twice the development. So they wouldn't have attacked all, they wouldn't all attack you at the same time because it'd be suicide. Five months We're, to the, I, I don't There's know. no way this happens. They're going to enforce their fucking demands. Cross your fingers and hope for rebels then, I guess. Um... What's the difference between enforced and breaking? Enforcing they, is going to just... Spawn? Yes, well, it depends. F19, mm -hmm. look at the actual rebels, and then go to the handle them, and then while hovering over the on siege one effects thing, it'll tell you three three different rows. It'll say at the top what happens when they enforce demands. Second one is usually what happens when they succeed in a siege. And then the third one is what happens if something else. I don't remember. There's like a third one on there, though. So on what happens when one they... effects gain 10% of autonomy. Uh, okay. Enforced demands are gain 30% autonomy in five provinces in my country. And the then it says something about lose 20 prestige on a separate line, but it's still under the enforced demands header. Yep. So that'll happen if they if they succeed in the timer, the nine month cooldown or whatever it is, then that's what happens. If on the other hand they break your country, that happens. Again, still. But you also get your stability reset to zero and uh like, you, you get the good thing. So if you're going to get broken, you don't want to get broken via enforced demands. The only way you can do it is if you can somehow trigger another rebellion so that you will actually get to seven provinces occupied. But if you can't, I mean... And you're certain I can't revoke provinces that already ex uh, already occupied? You can try. Click on them. It's Pretty not, sure you can. Okay. Province is not under control and then thus cannot be revoked. Could I give them... No, it's a year. If Gotta I wait a year. Before I can... <laughs> One more. <laughs> this is an extreme, extreme idea. If you're looking for one, what's that? They occupy five provinces, right? Yeah. Are they sieging a sixth? Not yet, but they're moving to it right now. And how many more months do you have? Uh, not many right now. Let's take a look. Five months. They might still. They might still make it. You think of giving away could, one of my provinces? You'd have to sell two provinces. You'd sell them to somebody. You'd have to sell two, because because if you have an even number of provinces, they have to have one beyond 50%. It's 51% of your country or more have to be occupied. All right, go so ahead you can and sell, I'm like, gonna, your two I'm lowest... I'm going to pull all my diplomats back. I can sell, I assume I can sell two at once? Uh, you can only sell lands to people who would accept the culture. So, uh, yeah. that's going to probably be your enemies, really. <laughs> Great idea, right? This is all... The only reason you'd want to consider this, by the way, is if the autonomy is, like, 90% or something really ridiculous, um which you don't really actually have any autonomy. Wow, that's surprising. Um, or if uh, the stability is that important to you, right? It's like 300 monarch points and I don't know. Well, mostly they, I just want these rebels to go away. They're going to go away when they enforce demands. So, okay. so maybe, maybe I just, just let that happen. Just there, wait. I, would, I wouldn't sell the provinces the more I think about it. But I would have probably granted provinces to the tribes a year ago when I realized I was going to go bankrupt. So that I would be able to do that kind of break my country shenanigans. Three months from now. I can't even take multiples in three months. It's just definitely going to happen. Fuck. All right. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Okay, Lana, my subject, actually likes me enough that I can I can consider turning on a new feature in in Vassals. I can divert trade, getting 100% of his trade power. He's in a different node than I am, so it doesn't really matter, but it's, it's interesting to me. I like it. My subject still has absolutely no troops at all. Does he have debt? Why are you so bad? Not you. Sorry, my subject. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I'm feeling pretty bad right now. All right. Oh. Shit. So close to being able to deal with this, but I can't still. Is it still saying like... No, it just triggered, but uh, I'm at point... Wow, 
Okay, hold on. I need these rebels not to fire. So, I got a 90% stack. I need a one yearly. I, there's no <laughs> fucking unrest advisor, of course. What, I need seriously? minus one unrest right now. Seriously, the, there was a 90% rebels? If they had fired, then that would have broken your country. What type of rebels was it? Uh, peasants. Peasants just raised autonomy! That would have been perfect! I know, Should have been but... some way you could piss them off. You shouldn't have bought your down on your war exhaustion. <laughs> Uh, I gotta get rid of these peasants now. They're ninety percent. Come on, two point. Maybe the years. maybe the peasants will break your country. You could still do it. If you no, have they, to. This, this, everything's reset now. Like I've, I just bought up one stability. Now I gotta fucking. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. This is this is filthy struggling in uh, the next patch here. This is uh, one of the stronger starts I've had in a while. Yeah, it's impressive. Thanks. Good job. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm sorry that you got attacked by three people at once. It's mm -hmm. not my fault. I shouldn't make fun. I uh, I very easily could have had a couple bad rolls in that first few phases of combat in the Coalition War, and that could have very easily gone backward. Or, as I mentioned multiple times, that uh, Lana was sieging my capital at 21%. I think like seven or eight ticks that it didn't fall. I don't even know what the chances of that are. Let's just see. 0.79% uh, chance to fail. Uh, X to the eighth. 0.79x to the 8th. So that means that there was a 15% chance that he would fail 8 times in a row. Yeah. Meaning he should have had, he had an 85% chance to have won at least one of those ticks, and he didn't. Yeah. And I got lucky. So, granted, sure. I, feel, I still think I would have won the war even if he had occupied my capital. Um, because we have naval superiority, and it would have been a half garrison, half strength garrison on the coast, we could blockade. But still, I would have taken 20 war exhaustion. In that whole process. Yep. Anything I can do to help you? Ah, uh, no, I'm fine, thank you. And yet you keep complaining. <laughs> what are you talking about? What am I even complaining? I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, whatever. <laughs> Anyone want to be my friends? I have Kachar at 24 reasons. Charles, a one province miner on tech three. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to that. Monthly autonomy change in all of Pegu. Hey, we accept. Okay, let's take a look. I could gain plus unrest. Awesome. Or lose prestige. Awesome. All right, our truce has just expired with my two rivals. Awesome. And uh, prestige effect, well, of armies doesn't affect. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pause. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. I am really annoyed that I can't even consider offering a vassalization here to this guy, because that means that like my initial intent was to take Tangu as an ally, because I know he's got good ideas. He's got like, yeah, infantry combat ability plus ten, so he's a decent little ally with his six troops. And then eventually I was going to outgrow him and then vassalize him, but as long as he's a protectorate, or a, uh, I keep saying protectorate, he's a tributary underneath Ming, I'll never be able to offer him vassalization. Ever. It's just not even an option. So... So I don't know. Ah, David. Yep, 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 yep. Did they, did they get rid of the, uh, what? Get mored again. Okay, one sec. So we need to uh, <laughs> take a break here and you need to <laughs> take a look at this war. <laughs> All right, we'll All be right, back guys. in the next episode. <laughs> See you soon. Thanks for watching.